So a new discovery in Antarctica. Researchers find new life under an ice shelf, and the discovery was an accident. Antarctica is not just interesting for scientists, but also for people who love mysteries and adventures. It's far away and tough conditions make it a perfect place for secret missions and thrilling puzzles. There are rumors about wealthy people meeting aliens and searching for high-tech innovation that could change the world's power. But is it all true? Are there aliens in Antarctica? Join us as we uncover the hidden secrets of Antarctica and why billionaires are frequently meeting in this frozen wasteland. Mysterious aliens, Nazis, and the lost city. In the icy world of Antarctica, there's a tale full of mystery and excitement, a story mixing aliens, Nazis, and a hidden city under the ice. This story has captured the imaginations of many, sparking lots of ideas and quests to uncover the truth. It all begins with the Nazis, who were interested in Antarctica during World War II. They wanted to explore this far-off land and maybe even build a base there. Led by important leaders like Admiral Karl Dönitz and SS leader Heinrich Himmler, the Nazis sent out missions to Antarctica to claim land and maybe use it for military reasons. One famous Nazi mission was called Operation High Jump, led by Admiral Richard E. Byrd, a well-known American explorer. Even though it was supposed to be a scientific trip, some people think there's more to it. Some believe the Nazis were looking for hidden bases or old treasures, while others think they were searching for high-tech gadgets or even trying to talk to aliens from space. The idea of aliens in Antarctica comes from stories of strange flying objects seen in the sky. Many explorers, soldiers, and scientists have said they saw mysterious things flying around in Antarctica. Some people think these sightings can be explained by natural things or mistakes, but others believe they're proof that aliens have visited Antarctica. There's a cool idea that talks about a hidden city under the ice in Antarctica. Some people believe that a very old society, maybe even from outer space, built a huge city under the icy surface of Antarctica. They think this because of strange things they've seen in pictures taken by satellites and radar scans. These things might be evidence of buildings made by humans under the ice. But wait, there's more. Some people also believe in stories about secret Nazi bases or hidden spots underground in Antarctica. They say that after Germany lost in World War II, some of the leaders, like Adolf Hitler, escaped to Antarctica. They think the Nazis might have built secret places where they could keep doing their work, like experimenting with advanced technology, or maybe even making contact with aliens from outer space. And here's where it gets mysterious. Some explorers claim to have had weird meetings with strange beings or things in Antarctica. They talk about meeting people like figures, seeing weird signs, and finding things that just can't be explained in the icy wilderness. But even though all these mysteries are super interesting, scientists say we shouldn't believe crazy stories without good proof. Antarctica is still one of the hardest and least known places on Earth. It's tough to explore and study there. While Antarctica has lots of secrets we haven't found yet, it's important to be careful and rely on solid scientific evidence, rather than just believing every wild story we hear. Exciting facts about Antarctica's size, weather, and waters. Did you know that Antarctica is gigantic? It's even bigger than Europe and almost two times bigger than Australia. That's huge. And guess what? It's also the windiest place on our whole planet. The winds there can zoom as fast as 320 kilometers per hour. That's way faster than the winds in big storms like hurricanes or tornadoes. Even though it's super cold, Antarctica is officially called a desert. Why? Because it hardly ever rains or snows there. The air is so dry that clouds don't form easily. So most of the time you won't see any rain, except maybe a little bit along the coast. But here's something cool. Even though it's a desert, Antarctica has a lot of fresh water. It has about 70% of all the fresh water on Earth. But guess what? It's mostly frozen in huge ice sheets, so you can't just drink it like you would drink water from a stream. The secret's in the South Pole's Ocean of Antarctica. The Southern Ocean is a special part of the world, stretching from the icy shores of Antarctica to the faraway places in the Southern Hemisphere. It's the smallest and coldest ocean, but it's super important for our planet and all the creatures living in the sea. One cool thing about the Southern Ocean is its strong currents. 
there's a big one called the Antarctic Circumpolar Current that flows all around Antarctica. It's like a giant ocean highway that connects different parts of the world. These currents bring food and warmth to lots of animals living in the ocean. Even though the Southern Ocean is cold, lots of animals call it home. Penguins, seals, and whales are some of the famous ones you might know. They eat yummy krill and fish to survive in these icy waters. And don't forget about the big birds like albatrosses with huge wings that soar above the waves. Whales in the Southern Ocean travel long distances to eat and have babies. It's amazing to think about how they travel thousands of miles just to visit these special waters. Exploring the Southern Ocean is tricky because of all the ice and cold. But scientists are brave and go there to learn more about our planet and how it's changing. They want to make sure we take care of places like Antarctica because they're so important for our Earth. One thing that's interesting about the Southern Ocean is how it helps control the Earth's temperature. The ice around Antarctica acts like a mirror, reflecting sunlight and keeping things cool. Plus, the ocean soaks up carbon dioxide, which is good for keeping the air clean. But with the Earth getting warmer, the ice is melting and that could cause big problems for our planet. So, exploring the Southern Ocean is like discovering a hidden treasure full of amazing creatures and secrets that help keep our planet safe and healthy. The Climatic and Scientific Conditions of Antarctica Antarctica, a land of extremes, has a fascinating history and holds many records. Long ago, about 100 million years ago, Antarctica had a warm tropical climate filled with plants and animals. However, over the last 30 million years, it transformed into an icy wonderland. Did you know that Antarctica has the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth? It's bone-chilling minus 93.2 degrees Celsius. Imagine how cold that is. Another interesting fact is that Antarctica's ice shelves, those big sheets of ice attached to the land, have been breaking apart rapidly since the 1990s. One of the most incredible collapses happened to the Larsen B ice shelf in just one month in 2002, after being around for over 10,000 years. As if that weren't enough, Antarctica's glaciers, those rivers of ice, are also shrinking. Around 87% of the glaciers near the Antarctic Peninsula are getting smaller, which is not good news. Despite these changes, Antarctica is protected as a scientific preserve. This means it's a special place where scientists from all over the world can study the environment without any military activity. This treaty was started in 1961 by 12 countries and now has over 50 countries signed up. Antarctica is like a big laboratory for scientists. They study everything from the air and water to the rocks and animals. That's why there are more than 70 research stations there, operated by over 25 countries. It's the perfect place for studying our planet and learning new things. Exciting discovery of old space rocks. Antarctica is like a treasure collection for scientists searching for space rocks called meteorites. These meteorites fall all over the world, but Antarctica is extra special because it keeps them in great condition, like a big freezer. The cold and dry air in Antarctica helps preserve these meteorites well. Plus, the dark color of the rocks stands out against the bright white ice, making them easy to spot. You see, not many rocks naturally form in Antarctica. So if you find a rock there, chances are it's from outer space. That's why scientists love exploring Antarctica to find these amazing meteorites. In one part of Antarctica called East Antarctica, there's a massive sheet of ice that's been there for a super long time. Over the years, the sun and strong winds have slowly melted away the top layers of ice. But guess what? This is awesome news for scientists. As the ice melts, it reveals older layers underneath. And guess what's hiding there? Yep, you got it. Lots of meteorites. It's like going on a treasure hunt. Since 1976, scientists have collected over 20,000 meteorite samples from Antarctica. That's a whole bunch of space rocks. Just think about all the cool things scientists can learn by studying them. Now, let's talk about an incredible discovery made by a team of scientists in East Antarctica in 2013. They found the biggest meteorite in 25 years. This massive space rock weighed a whopping 18 kilograms. That's like finding a huge boulder from space in your backyard. 
these scientists spent 40 days searching. And boy, did they find some goodies? They discovered a total of 425 meteorites, weighing a combined 75 kilograms. Among their finds were pieces of an asteroid called Vesta, and even a meteorite from Mars. It's like finding bits of other planets right here on Earth. And who knows what other amazing treasures are hiding beneath the icy surface of Antarctica, just waiting to be discovered. The chilling Antarctican ice. In the icy world of Antarctica, there's a huge slab of ice called the Ross Ice Shelf. It is like a massive frozen blanket covering an area as big as France and very thick, like hundreds of layers of blankets stacked together. Now something cool about this icy blanket, it makes a special sound. Scientists recently discovered it, and it's like a spooky melody. But here's the thing. It's so low and quiet that we can't hear it with our ears. Instead, scientists use special sensors called seismic sensors to catch these strange vibrations. This icy melody isn't always the same. It changes when things happen around the ice shelf, like when snow melts or big storms blow through. Scientists didn't set out to find this musical secret. They put the sensors there for a different reason. But sometimes when you're curious, you find surprising things like a singing ice shelf. Now these scientists are using the song to keep an eye on the ice shelf's health. By listening to the changes in the song, they can tell if the ice shelf is getting weaker or might break. The song of the Ross Ice Shelf is like a musical diary, telling the story of its journey through time and the changes it goes through. It shows how even small changes in the environment can affect big icy places like this one. The giant hole in Antarctica, in 2017, something incredible happened in Antarctica. A giant hole appeared, almost as big as the whole country of Ireland. This enormous hole, called a Polynya, is super special because it's the largest one seen since the 1970s, which means it's the first in 40 years. This massive gap in the ice was found in the Weddell Sea, which is part of the Southern Ocean. So how did it form? Well, it's all because of warmer, saltier water from deep down in the sea. This warm water moves upwards because of ocean currents. When it reaches the surface, it melts the ice. Then it meets the cooler surface water and sinks back down. But guess what? It doesn't stop there. It gets heated up again and rises back to the surface, and the whole cycle repeats. Scientists are still figuring out why these polynyas appear. One idea is that marine animals might use them to get air to breathe. But there's still a lot we don't know about these strange giant holes in the ice. Fun fact. The Weddell Sea is named after James Weddell, a British sailor who explored the area in the early 19th century. He discovered it while searching for new sealing grounds. Antarctica is home to some amazing wildlife, like penguins, seals, and whales. They all depend on the ice for their survival, so any changes like these polynyas can have a big impact on them. Back in the 1970s, scientists first noticed these polynyas, but they were much smaller back then. The fact that this one is so huge and hasn't been seen in four decades has got scientists buzzing with excitement. One theory about why polynyas form is that they might be caused by underwater mountains or ridges that force warm water up to the surface. Another idea is that they could be linked to changes in wind patterns or ocean currents. Strange Experiences in Antarctica In Antarctica, you can have some unique experiences that you won't find anywhere else. During the summer, which is when it's warmest there, something amazing happens. The sun doesn't set below the horizon, so it's like having daytime all day long. It's called the midnight sun, and it makes for long, sunny days that feel like they'll never end. But in the winter, it's a whole different story. The sun disappears completely. That's because it never rises above the horizon during the winter months in Antarctica. It's not because of clouds or anything like that. It's just how it is. So if you're there in winter, get ready for lots of darkness. Another cool thing you can see in Antarctica is the Southern Lights, also called the Aurora Australis. You might have heard of the Northern Lights, but these are their southern cousins. They're usually only seen from Antarctica and a few islands nearby. But if there's a lot of solar activity, you might spot them from places like Australia, New Zealand, or South America. It's like seeing colorful magic in the sky, discovering the majestic Mount Erebus. Deep in the frosty land of Antarctica stands a majestic volcano named Mount Erebus. Unlike regular snow-covered mountains, this one breathes steam and heat, even though it's surrounded by snowy blankets. Antarctica might seem like a frozen desert, but it holds some fiery secrets beneath its icy surface. On Ross Island, amidst the icy plains, four volcanoes hang out. They're not exactly party animals. 
They're pretty calm, except for one, Mount Erebus. It's been getting a bit restless over the past 30 years, spicing things up with some volcanic activity. But Mount Erebus isn't just your average volcano. It's like nature's ultimate show-off. Deep inside, there's molten rock called magma, bubbling away for millions and millions of years. Ancient lava lakes bubbled and boiled for about 1.3 million years. Yeah, that's how ancient this fiery giant is. In 2013, a brave team of scientists decided to take on the challenge. They geared up and embarked on an epic journey to climb Mount Erebus, trudging through knee-deep snow, navigating rocky terrain, and crossing treacherous glaciers. It was like something out of an adventure movie. After days of pushing through, they finally reached the summit, the very peak of Mount Erebus. And guess what they found? Life thrives amidst the heat and steam of the volcano. Despite the extreme conditions, organisms were making themselves at home in this fiery furnace. As the scientists explored further, they stumbled upon a hidden gem ice caves. And guess who was hanging out in these icy hideaways? Microorganisms, tiny creatures too small to see with the naked eye. It's like finding a secret party in the coolest club ever. They're hardcore survivors thriving in one of the most extreme environments on the planet. And scientists reckon they're some of the most unique creatures out there adapting to life in the icy depths of Mount Erebus. McMurdo Dry Valleys In Antarctica, there's a special place called the McMurdo Dry Valleys where scientists have set up their camp. Even though we usually think of deserts as hot, sandy places, Antarctica is the biggest desert on Earth. It's super dry and windy there, with very little rain. Only about 50 millimeters each year. Can you believe that? Almost all of Antarctica is covered in ice, but in this tiny 1% left, you'll find the McMurdo Dry Valleys. Now, you might be thinking about camels and cacti, but there aren't any of those here. Instead, you'll find huge dunes. These dunes can be as tall as 70 meters and stretch about 200 meters wide. It might sound like fun to slide down them like you're on a sandy roller coaster. But these dunes are very important to scientists. The dry valleys are a lot like Mars in terms of climate, which is why scientists are so interested in them. They think this place could give those clues about life on other planets. But here's something interesting. These dunes aren't staying still. They're moving. On average, they move about 1.5 meters every year. Scientists believe it's because of climate change. As the Earth gets warmer, the ice in Antarctica starts melting, and that makes the dunes shift. It's like they're trying to find a cooler place to hang out. Scientists are working fast to learn all they can about these dunes before they disappear forever. The McMurdo Dry Valleys may be one of the coldest and driest places on Earth, but they're not completely lifeless. Even though you can't see them with your eyes, tiny organisms called microbes manage to survive here. They're like the ultimate survivors, living in one of the toughest environments on our planet. The Gambertsev Mountain Range, deep beneath the icy surface of Antarctica, Hidden under a thick layer of ice as wide as thousands of kilometers lies a remarkable discovery, the Gambertsev Mountains. Named after the clever scientist Grigory A. Gambertsev, these mountains were first stumbled upon by Russian scientists in 1958 during their Antarctic exploration. Stretching over 1,200 kilometers and reaching heights of 3,000 meters, these mountains are about one-third the size of Mount Everest. Although no one has seen them up close, Scientists use special radars to peek beneath the ice and study them. They've discovered something amazing. Even though these mountains are about a billion years old, they're still standing strong. Scientists are puzzled about how they formed and why they haven't crumbled away over time. One theory suggests that a frozen layer might be protecting the mountains from wearing away. But these mountains aren't just frozen lumps in the ice, they're incredibly important. They're believed to be the birthplace of some of the world's largest rivers. When the ice on top of the mountains melts, it forms streams that turn into huge rivers, giving life to the icy continent. The Gamberts of Mountains are no ordinary hills. They're bigger than the European Alps. Imagine a whole mountain range hidden beneath Antarctica's ice cover, waiting to be explored. And they're not just sitting there. These mountains are growing taller as the ice above them gets thicker pressing down on the Earth's crust and pushing them upwards. The hidden world of under ice lakes. At first glance, Antarctica may seem cold and unfriendly, but did you know that deep beneath its icy surface lie secret lakes hidden beneath thick layers of ice? These lakes formed millions of years ago, creating a mysterious world beneath the Antarctic ice sheet. 
Some of these lakes are enormous, stretching for hundreds of kilometers, like Lake Vostok, which is as big as Lake Ontario. What makes these under ice lakes so intriguing? Well, it's not just their size, but also the unique conditions they exist in. Imagine being locked under thousands of meters of ice in total darkness and isolation for millions of years. Despite these extreme conditions, life somehow manages to thrive there. Microscopic life forms called extremophiles have been discovered in these icy lakes, challenging our understanding of where life can survive. These little organisms can live in freezing temperatures, darkness, and with very little food. Thanks to new technology, scientists can now explore these mysterious lakes in detail. They use special robotic vehicles with cameras and sensors to penetrate the thick ice and dive deep into the dark waters, mapping the lakes and studying the creatures that live there. One big project called the Salsa Project aims to drill into Lake Mercer, which lies beneath the Willens Ice Stream. By studying samples from the lake, scientists hope to learn more about Antarctica's environment, history, and climate. Exploring these hidden lakes isn't easy, though. The extreme cold remote location and thick ice cover make it a real challenge. But scientists are determined to unlock the secrets of Antarctica's under ice lakes. As we learn more about these hidden worlds, we gain a greater appreciation for the incredible diversity and resilience of life on Earth. Antarctica's icy depths hold countless discoveries just waiting to be uncovered. The mysterious tale of blood falls in Antarctica. Deep in the chilly McMurdo Dry Valleys of East Antarctica, there's a strange and wondrous sight called Blood Falls. Picture this, a bold red streak against the crisp white backdrop of the Taylor Glacier. It's a sight that grabs your attention, like a bleeding wound on the icy surface of our planet. But what's causing this peculiar phenomenon? Well, the answer lies beneath the surface. Scientists have discovered that the water flowing from Blood Falls contains a lot of something called iron oxide, which gives it that blood-like appearance. This iron-rich water comes from a hidden lake beneath the glacier, where it's been trapped for millions of years. But how did it get there in the first place? The journey of this ancient water began way back when Antarctica looked very different. Back in the time of dinosaurs, the Taylor Glacier didn't exist. Instead, there was a vast river system crisscrossing the continent. But as the climate cooled, layers of snow and ice covered the river, trapping the water underneath. Over thousands of years, this water slowly changed. Without sunlight for plants to grow, only tiny organisms called extremophiles could survive. These tough little creatures adapted to the harsh conditions, thriving on the iron-rich waters of the lake beneath the glacier. Finding life in such a harsh environment is a big deal. It challenges what we know about biology and raises questions about life on other planets. But Blood Falls isn't just fascinating to scientists. It has inspired artists, writers, and adventurers from all over the world. It's become the stuff of legends, sparking countless stories and adventures. From books to movies, Blood Falls symbolizes the mysterious and unexplored corners of our planet. In the end, Blood Falls reminds us of the wonders of nature and the resilience of life. It shows us that even in the harshest environments, life finds a way to survive. And as long as there are mysteries like Blood Falls, there will always be people eager to explore and discover the secrets of Antarctica. The fossils and rainforests of old Antarctica. When we think of Antarctica, we often picture a land covered in ice and snow, where penguins waddle and seals bask in the chilly waters. But did you know that underneath all that ice lies a secret? Long ago, Antarctica wasn't always frozen. Millions of years ago, during a period called the Cretaceous, it was much warmer and covered in lush forests. Back then, Antarctica was part of a supercontinent called Gondwana, along with Africa, South America, Australia, and India. It was closer to the equator and had a mild climate similar to today's New Zealand. The continent was teeming with life, thick forests filled with ferns, palm-like plants, and even dinosaurs. Despite its icy appearance today, Antarctica's fossils tell us a different story. Scientists have discovered fossilized tree stumps, leaves, and pollen, showing that dense tropical forests once covered the land. But how did these forests survive in a place that's now so cold? Well, as Antarctica moved southward over millions of years, its climate became colder, and the forests turned into ice and snow. But the surprises don't end there. Antarctica's fossil record also includes dinosaur remains. Despite the harsh conditions, scientists have found fossils of huge long-necked dinosaurs and fierce meat-eating ones, too. Not just dinosaurs, but also fossils of ancient mammals, birds, and sea reptiles, showing that Antarctica was once a bustling hub of life. 
So next time you see a snowy picture of Antarctica, remember the incredible story of its ancient past, a time when it was a vibrant rainforest teeming with dinosaurs and other creatures. The wildlife of Antarctica. Antarctica is like a paradise for animals, especially penguins. Penguins are the real kings and queens of this icy land, with eight different kinds living here. Some, like the emperor and Italy penguins, are unique to Antarctica, while others, like the chinstrap macaroni and gentoo penguins, also enjoy the chilly waters nearby. But it's not just penguins that call Antarctica home. Whales love it here, too. Can you imagine seeing eight different kinds of whales swimming around? From the huge blue whale to the powerful orca, also known as the killer whale, there's no shortage of whale sightings in Antarctic waters. Seals also have a blast in Antarctica, with six different types making the icy waters their playground. From the playful Weddell seals to the majestic elephant seals, each seal has its special features that make them unique. And guess what? Antarctica is the only continent without snakes and other reptiles. It's just too cold for them to survive here. But don't worry, there are still plenty of fascinating creatures, like fish that make their antifreeze to survive in the icy waters, and tiny nematode worms that are the most common land animals in Antarctica, despite their small size. The mysterious pyramid. In 2009, scientists spotted something unusual in pictures of Antarctica taken from space. What they saw surprised everyone. A massive pyramid hidden beneath the icy surface. This discovery sparked curiosity and became a hot topic among both scientists and people who like to ponder mysteries. Just like the pyramids in Egypt, this Antarctic pyramid has four sides shaped like triangles. It's huge and makes you wonder how something like that could be hiding in Antarctica, a place known for its freezing temperatures and emptiness. This discovery challenged what we thought we knew about Antarctica's history and raised questions about ancient civilizations that might have once lived there. Some folks think the Antarctic Pyramid could be a sign of an ancient civilization that had advanced technology. Others even suggest it might have been built by aliens, but not everyone is convinced. Some say the pyramid shape could just be a trick of light and shadows, or maybe it's something natural. Which of these shocking secrets about Antarctica did you find the most interesting? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.